per noi il numero 16, Nicola! I'm still young, but I have so much experience because I started to play football in first team in Hajduk Split when I was 16, so it's already nine years. But I still feel there is a much more time for me because uh, I really love football and I always said to myself, you know, I'm 25 now, at least another 10 years, so, you know, I would say I'm not even at the half, so there's uh, still a lot of football for me to play. Vlasic, his first goal in Serie A. Croatian attacking midfielder Nikola Vlasic has played in his domestic league in Russia and in England. He had a tough time at West Ham, and that led him to joining Torino on loan in the summer. A fellow Croatian, his coach Ivan Juric, has helped him rebuild his confidence. Vlasic, cutback's a pretty decent one. There's the opportunity, and there's the goal! He was, uh, of course, the factor for me to come here, but uh, not only factor. His famous style of football is also attractive. <laughs> of course, if you come to England and Italy in a team that is struggling, that is fighting for the points, defending. It's much harder to be uh, like myself. I'm a creative player than Torino here. We are 9, 10 on the table, but we are still dominating the game. Good ball inside. Vlasic is there! Nikola Vlasic, his second goal in the top flight. We are attacking, so it's much easier for me to play here than in some team that is more def defending. Vlasic! He just can't stop scoring at the moment. Nikola Vlasic at the Olimpico Grande Torino. When you feel that uh, coach, staff, uh, people in the club uh, have confidence in you, of course it's easier to play. And when they give you like freedom to express yourself on the pitch, so this is for me most important because I just want to be happy to play football because I worked all my life for this. His hard work has paid off internationally too. In the 2022 World Cup, he earned a bronze medal with Croatia. A feat one of his idols and a Serie A legend achieved against all odds in the 1998 edition. Zvonimir Boban, he's huge in Croatia and if you ask any player who is around my age, it would probably be Zvonimir Boban, Sinecki, or the players that uh, were like uh, third on the World Cup. My father, he was showing me videos and stuff. And of course, Zvonimir, he's uh, my favorite. So, I like Zvonimir Boban. Torino's glory days date back to the 1940s. But even a newcomer like Vlasic feels the responsibility of seeking to live up to the Granata's glorious history. I feel because, you know, when you, when, when I'm, every time I come to Olimpico and I walk here around the locker room, around the stadium, I see this team win and all uh, these faces, you know, uh, and names of the big, big players. You feel it, and inside when I'm in the city, when I'm out around the center, I feel the love that uh, people have for this club, and uh, you know, I feel the same. Vlasic nets Torino's second of the game. After a solid start to the season, Torino have been struggling to regain momentum after the World Cup break, most recently losing to Spezia. They currently sit ninth. I think uh, when you look at the table, I think it's not a real picture. I think we deserve to be more up on the table, but uh, it's, it happens more than two or three times this season that we have more chances than the opposition, but we don't win games. I want now, like, for us to not have a chance, but we somehow win, you know, this to be a little bit lucky. But I think it will come because we work hard and we trust in process and it will come, you know. Next up for Torino is an away day in Florence. La Viola trail Toro by the narrowest of goal difference margins. I think they are a really tough team. It's hard to play against them on their stadium. But, you know, I think we can, we can win this game because we have a really good team and we play really good uh, style of football. You know, for me, it's the most important team to win, so we'll see what happens. 